Hey, good morning out there, Martin Backyard Grills and Strings. Coming at you again. Got you a good one. Got one here I'm going to do for uh, by request. Uh, my cousin sent me this song here and wanted me to pull a little, put a little something to it. And uh, boy, I'm going to tell you what, he dug deep in the dust to find the song here. This thing here, this was Hank Jr. when he was probably... <sighs> And his, he, he couldn't have been more than in his early 20s, if that. So, uh, I hadn't done the research on it. That's the only reason I don't know. But I uh, hope y'all like this one. It's called 11 Roses. But if you want an easy song to do in the backyard, this one here is easy. I mean, it's got basic chords. It's got uh, your G. One thing I'm, or it's got a D. The one thing I'm doing, I actually did do it in a drop D this time just to do a little something different with it, but you can do it in basic chords if you want to. But uh, go to drop D tuning, drop your E string down to the D string on your guitar, your sixth string down to the fourth string. And then let's uh, practice get a D chord. In a drop D, you're going to take and have a G chord. The only note you're going to hit is in the fourth, in the fifth fret, sixth string, and the fifth fret, first string. Fifth fret, fifth fret, sixth string, fifth fret, first string. With your middle finger on the sixth string and your ring, your little finger on the first string, you're going to muffle the fifth string with your middle finger strum all six that way you can pull it off but that's your G that's your G chord in your in the fifth fret for the drop D tune basically and then you're gonna have your basic a or you can it's an a7 that you go from you strum from the fifth string down don't hit the sixth string because it won't sound right hit from the fifth string down you're gonna have an a7 Middle finger on the fourth string, second fret. Ring, little finger on the second string, second fret. Fifth string down. Or you can do an A and put the middle finger, the little finger down. Just get a little more bluesy sound if you, you know, if you take do the A seven. Uh, practice those chords a little bit and come back with us and uh, let's do an old classic together here. Eleven Roses. Hope y'all like this. Guess you notice there is only eleven roses. I chose them from the garden where they grew. Take the roses and look into the Twelfth rows will be looking back at you. There's just something about a spray of roses to a woman. They say more than man say. After what I've done, you may not keep my roses, but I just thought I would send them away. There's something about a spray of roses. Woman, they say more than man say. After what I've done, you may not keep my roses, but I just thought I would send them 
along those lines there like I say you can just spice it up however you want to but uh, the only little thing I was doing there toward the end it's a good little D little, little D lick you can do and you're still in drop D or whatever all you're gonna do is you're gonna come up with your first finger hammer the fifth string second fret and you're gonna come down once you hammer the fifth string second fret, catch the fourth string sec fourth string open, third string open, and then hit the sixth string open. And then put your first finger back down. You're basically right there, you're in, you can be in a D, or you can be in a D suspended. I forgot to tell you about the D suspended chord. Basically all you're doing is taking the middle finger off the where the D chord is, you just take your middle finger off and you have a D suspended right there. And you just kind of pick through strings however you want to do it. Just a little little D lesson there, so I hope y'all like. 